I think the earnings news is probably going to be the biggest mover of markets uh, overall. Your thoughts on what to expect? Yeah, I think number one, I mean, inflation's been persistently stubborn here, right? We just keep waiting for it to come down, and it's not really feeding its way through the system yet. So I think that number will probably stay higher than we'd like. But I'm with you. I think it's all about earnings. And the one thing I mentioned about earnings right now is, you know, margins have stayed pretty tight, or they've stayed you know, pretty strong throughout this whole cycle of higher inflation. So that says to me that you know, earnings are probably going to continue to be pretty good here because, I mean, companies have already come down. They've lowered their forecasts. They love to play that game of, you know, lowering their forecast too much yeah. so they can beat on earnings. So I think it's going to be a very, very good earnings season. And I, I do think real inflation on the ground floor is still coming down. It's not showing the numbers yet. This is not a horrible combination. You know, this, this economy is not as horrible as everyone's telling you, Maria. Well, I mean, it's going to be the guidance, right, that is going right. to be really be the mover of stocks. And we're waiting to see an impact on jobs from all of the slowdown that we're looking at. You mentioned unemployment, which has been freaking, you know, they can't get the unemployment number up. Um, if they do, if you look at markets historically, the market recovers way before unemployment starts to go up. So I think the big mistake investors are going to make right now is like, let's wait for some good news. Let's just wait on the sidelines because you know the market's going to rally way ahead of any good economic data. And I think that's what you have to focus on right now is like the S&P trades at 15 times forward earnings, which just means it's historically pretty average. Mm. Like, get in now. Don't wait for the good news because once the good news happens, market's already higher. You're going to be like, I wish I listened to Ryan Payne. Did you see PepsiCo Maria. raising guidance? That was one that's actually raising guidance. The stock is up. I mean, that's really going to be the mover of this market if we see good news coming out of this guidance. A hundred percent. And any company that has pricing power with inflation, and Pepsi is a perfect example of that. Tech is not a great place to be in a rising interest rate environment. We have higher inflation, but there's plenty of places out there. Consumer staples is a great example that do really well in this type of environment. You have to have them in your portfolio. Yeah.